Hello, how are you? My name is Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. I would like to ask you the following question. Have you ever had some problems when prescribing internal boundary conditions? If the answer to that question is yes, this video is for you. In the following minutes, I'm going to explain you how to prescribe an internal boundary condition. For that, I'm going to use the fan boundary condition. Remember, this is Singularity Engineering. Let's start it. To explain how to prescribe the internal boundary condition, I am going to use a very simple model. Here we have two solids. This is solid and this is solid one, which has an interface. Then from this simple uh, model, I am going to, to explain how to set up the internal boundary condition. The first thing we have to do is to, uh, to prescribe a shared topology among the interface of these solids. Then for do they, for do this, uh, we have to move both solids into a new component then I will do it and hence once we we have the solids inside a new component we select here and we at, uh, we enable the shared topology options then in the interface of both solids a shared topology uh, will be prescribed when the mesh process is performed now, for this example, I am going to use a very simple mesh. Then I have some inflation and uh, multi sum methods for both solids. This is the mesh that I'm going to use to, to develop the simulation. Uh, an additional step that I have to do is to define some name selection. Then I'm going to name this like Outlet. This one I am going to name it as inlet and I am going to define another one then I'm going to with this one I'm going to hide it and here I'm going to call this fan okay and that's it that's the configuration uh, I am going to do for the mesh and I am going to explain the setup of the model right now. Now in the setup model of ANSYS Fluent we are going to see how the internal boundary condition is defined. Let's see then the part of the setup that is of interest for us. Then as you can see the fan uh, surface is already set up as a fan boundary condition because of the name that I put in the meshing model. Also, this boundary is an internal one because of the shared topology option that was enabled on the on the space claim. Then this is with this process uh, is very easy to define internal boundary condition. Here I can change the type, for example, if I want an interior, a purse jump, a radiator, or a wall. Here we are going, going to use the fan boundary condition. To define the fan boundary condition, you have to select which is the, the direction of the momentum that is applied by the fan boundary condition. Then here is by default the value, but if you see when when you're processing your results that the moment the, the moment applied by the, the boundary condition is in the other direction, then you have to select the reverse fan direction. Also, uh, here you you will determine the the pressure jump of the fan. You can select. Uh, whichever of these options also you can prescribe a profile for the pressure jump 
you can limit the velocity range of the fan then you will have a minimum and a maximum velocity which will be will be related with the pressure jump if you don't want to use this if, if you only want to use a, a only value of of velocity then you can uh, check here and calculate the pressure jump from average condition also if you want to to set up a sewer velocity effects on the flow then you can switch this one and select which is the fan axis, fan axis where is the region and here are the polynomial coefficients of the tangential and radial velocity profiles for these coefficients one option is to know the uh, angle of the blades and calculate or estimate the the coefficients for, for the profile just for demonstration i am going to use the simple uh, mode of this boundary condition then i i am going to to specify only a pressure jump a constant value of 10000 pascal and right now i'm going to, to run the simulation to show you the results i i got once the simulation have finished i i got some results one important thing is that the outlet boundary condition must be an outflow because pressure outlet is not allowed by the fan boundary condition. Then once the simulation run, I got these results. Here is the static pressure contour over a middle plane. And here is the velocity, magnitude velocity uh, contour over the same plane. Then you can see here how is the is the fan boundary condition acting this is more clear here in the in the other counter here is how the pressure arise after the flow passed through the to the fan boundary condition well it was a pleasure to me to be with you in this video if you have any question please follow us on our youtube channel or contact us by our web page or by our phone. Remember, I am Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. Thank you very much. Bye bye.